Jamie Reinhardt seemingly has it all in life. A wife, three young daughters, a home and a car, and a PhD in oceanography. What's missing is his job. After he was sent home without pay from his post as a federal government marine research scientist. Jamie is a victim of the government shutdown, so he's now at this education job fair applying to be a substitute teacher. I've interviewed with, I, th I think she must have been a, either an administrator or a teacher. They've asked me some questions regarding, um, you know, my experiences related to uh, working with kids and, um, and, and how I would respond in certain teaching situations. And then obviously there's benefits to those of us who are furloughed and um, are looking, are, you know, looking to earn a little bit of money. We're offering building service positions, clerical positions, support, transportation, bus drivers. These are the faces of the victims of the government shutdown. An accountant applying to be a high school math teacher. A lawyer applying to be a school bus driver. People that unexpectedly find themselves out of a job for no fault of their own. Like Daryl Burton, an investigator at the Postal Service, now applying to be a school security officer. I'm interested in the security position with Montgomery County Schools because uh, my background over the last uh, 10 years nearly has been in investigations. This is the second day they've held this job fair. On the first day, there were more than 200 people that were here looking for work. Today, when the doors opened at 10 a.m., there were already 100 people waiting in line to get in. With no end in sight, the government shut down. The number of people looking for work is high. Several school districts are holding similar job fairs for federal employees. Schools normally providing education for children may now also supply jobs for their parents. Our goal is really to say that um, if there is a temporary gap that people have, we have opportunities. As for Jamie Reinhardt, his interview is over. He waits for a callback. In the meantime, he's become a driver for a rideshare app to make some extra money to support his family. But he's hoping that the shutdown will end so he soon can drive back to work. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, Rockville, Maryland.